Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back and belated Happy New Year to you guys. I hope you guys had an amazing, fun and safe New Year's, whatever you did. It has been a long minute, well not really a long minute, like a little bit of a a little bit of a stretch of a long minute. This is my first uh, beauty video of the year. So I wanted to start off by, of course, resuming with my Sunday faves and nays video or my weekly beauty favorites. I have a couple of things I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you guys um, enjoy the content that um, I will be curating here on my channel. If you already haven't, make sure you go ahead and hit subscribe as well as hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. It will uh, notify you once I upload a new video. And yeah, and if you guys enjoy these types of videos where I share with you my weekly favorites, uh, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. So let's first talk about hair. As you guys can tell, my hair now is pink. It is not permanent. Maybe some people are feeling the pink. Maybe some people are not feeling the pink. I wanted like a little bit of a change, but I didn't want something, number one, that would damage my hair. And I didn't want something that was permanent because I can be pretty, pretty fickle minded. So I wanted something that, you know, I could kind of change up. So I saw this the other day at Target. It's from the brand L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal Colorista. It's the semi-permanent color. This one is for bleached, light blonde, or highlighted hair. It's uh, number pink 200. So this lasts about between four to eight shampoos. This is actually my first shampoo. So when I first applied this, like the first time I used it, it was a vibrant uh, pink. It looked, I, I really, really liked it. A lot of people complimented the hair. Um, they really liked the way how it looked. For this specific kind, you need to have the light blonde or bleached hair and it just really depends how porous your hair is because I guess if your hair is very bleached your hair should really uh, take in the product this is supposed to last about three I guess three um, uses I think really I'll only get two uses out of this just because of my hair length this was $9.99 which isn't bad so you basically shampoo your hair dry it out thoroughly and then you apply this it doesn't have any type of scent to it it's non-damaging let me uh, read you guys its claims colorista semi-permanent is created with pure direct dyes in a conditioning hair mask no mixing required no ammonia no peroxide vegan formula no animal derived ingredients or byproducts so it is an amazing amazing product now the good thing is that if you have dark hair I think the dark brown hair you can go ahead and use the there's like a brighter line I think there's like a really pretty turquoise color purple a brighter like fuchsia pink and there's one other color since the color from L'Oreal does fade shampoo after shampoo and also it's not good to, of course, shampoo your hair every day, um, this has been my best friend. It's the Dove Refresh and Care Detox and Purify Dry Shampoo, which, you know, I just use at my roots to soak up any oiliness. Honestly, I can go maybe a day without shampooing my hair and then after that, like I need to, no matter how much dry shampoo I put in my hair, it just feels super oily. So this will actually prolong my shampoo one day, but it has been my best friend. It soaks up all the oil. It smells really refreshing. I know Lizzie from What Would Lizzie Do raved about this um, a couple of weeks ago in her Friday Whoop Whoops. So yeah, I have been loving this product. I also wanted to mention some lip products. The first one I wanted to mention is from the brand Derma E, and this is the Derma E Skin Hair and Nail Oil. So if you guys aren't familiar with Dermot E, they are a cruelty-free brand. All of their products are all natural. To apply this onto my nails right after I've applied my top coat and I just place it right by my cuticle and then just kind of work it down my nail just to, well, I don't know, for me, I just do that to kind of help speed up the process of having my nail polish dry. Plus it also moisturizes my cuticles. So it's a little dropper, but what I like to do is I'll actually place like a drop of this onto my lips and then just rub it all around. Let it kind of soak in the, um, the oil and then I'll go ahead and apply my liquid lipstick. My lips recently have been seriously really chapped. So doing this extra step has really helped make them look less chapped and it just also helps the liquid lipstick apply really smoothly onto the lips I'm loving these lip products from the brand wet n wild and these are called the wet n wild mega last liquid cat suit 
these really have blown me away. I really, really love the formula of them. I'm actually wearing one today on my lips. This one is in number 924B in the shade called Rebel Rose. So let me kind of show you guys what it looks like. So here's what the wand looks like. It kind of has a weird shape to it because it has like a little, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has like a little indentation, which it's supposed to, I guess, conform to your lips. But to me personally, the applicator is a little bit strange. I would have liked it just to be more of like a doe foot applicator. And then it also has like a moussey, like a moussey type of uh, formula to it. It goes on so smoothly. It has a nice thin formula. It's really, really easy to work with. A cupcake type of scent to it, but it is such an inexpensive, affordable drugstore lip product. I was also rotating it with um, this other shade called Give Me Mocha. And from the tube, I thought it would be more of like a brownish color, but when I wear it, it's more of like a a brown uh, with a bit of like a deeper mauve. Let me show you what it looks like. Like a brown with like a deeper mauve undertone to it. It's really, really gorgeous, especially with like a simple, like a simple eye and then you wear this on your lips, like a nice pop of color. And then last but not the least is going to be my Nay product. And if you guys saw the thumbnail, I think you guys will know which one it is. Unfortunately, it is from the brand Too Faced, the Better Together set. I don't even know if the camera was focusing because it was on the wrong setting. So my apologies in advance if the camera focus is a little bit off. But um, okay, so let me show you guys the palette. So this is the Too Faced Better Together palette. So I mean, packaging alone on this is super, super cute. It's magnetic. And then, this one was created by Gerald, who is the creator of Too Faced Cosmetics. So you have in here a really nice uh, shimmer. Well, there are three shimmer and three matte shadows in here. They're more on the cooler tone or the cooler side. And then you have the Kat Von D shadows. And these are also more on the cooler side. I mean, they're really, really gorgeous shadows. I love like the whole concept of the palette. Um, I especially love this one right here called Love Struck. So hopefully you guys can see what Love Struck looks like. I mean, I think the concept of the whole entire palette is so unique, really, really adorable packaging. But to me, honestly, like I just don't see myself grabbing this palette. And I also wanted to mention that it does come with full size of the Better Than Sex mascara, as well as, unfortunately, I cannot find the full size of the Kat Von D tattoo liner, but it comes with those um, three things. That is everything I wanted to share with you guys from my weekly beauty favorites, my Sunday faves, and my one unfortunate nay. Again, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of the sweet comments, all of the positivity during Vlogmas, you guys. Really just put a huge smile on my face. I'm really happy that you guys enjoyed the Vlogmas vlogs. I think when you guys watch this video, we should still be in Vegas. So I hope you guys had a really, or having a really great weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching the first beauty video of the year. I love you guys so much. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you already haven't. Follow me on all my social media. Give this video a big like if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.